extra, extra, extra. Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way. I hope that you are living in the moment and taking one day at a time and keeping stress out as much as possible. I am keeping stress out as much as possible with this video and review because I am going to open and review this new coffee shop with you guys. I have been watching this coffee shop since it came out. Um, I've seen it online. I've seen a couple of reviews and, you know, I was kind of, you know, I wanted it, but I wasn't willing to pay the price point. I was able to see it in person a few weeks ago in Target, and um, I liked it even more once I saw it in person. I liked the items. Everything is right on point, but it was $29.99 in the store. I noticed that Target.com, the prices vary in the store. A lot of times in the store, the items are more than they are online. You know, that's the same way with the fashionistas and the other items as well. So, I saw it, I liked it, but I wasn't going to pay 30 bucks for it, so I didn't. I said, I'll wait for it to come on sale or for Target to send me a coupon and purchase it. But, I ended up seeing it online um, the other day for $24.49. And I decided, hey, that's a fair price. I seen it in the store, and $25 is a fair price to pay for this. So I went ahead and I ordered it. So, you know, my dolls are going to have a coffee shop. I have this idea for a Dharama that I want to do. You guys know Dharamas take a lot of work, and they take up space. So I wanted to pick something that would be suitable for my dolls to always hang out at and be appropriate for whatever the occasion. And a coffee shop is definitely one of those. So this coffee shop is part of the Barbie You Can Be Anything series. It comes with 20 pieces. And as you guys can see, you know, a lot of pieces. And I noticed here on the box that we have that this doll that comes with it. And then we have this girl too. And But I never saw the other choice of her. Usually, they do give you two different um, ethnic um, doll, two different um, skin tones of the dolls whenever they do the sets. But I didn't see it. So, you know, maybe it'll come out later. But um, I'm not going to buy another one unless I could get it really, really cheap. So, again, I love this little set. And then here on the back of the box, you know, you get the actual set out of the box with the doll it's barbie as a curvy girl and she's very pretty then they show you how the actual um fappuccino machine actually works and it's a functioning machine and it's really cute lots of fun with that and you know this tells you about coffee shop owners are responsible for day-to-day -day operations of a coffee shop you know they manage a team you know of servers and you know while anticipating the needs of their customers you know, do you like to serve up the fun of a frosty drink? <laughs> you could be a coffee shop owner. So this is another one of Barbie's 200 plus careers that she has um, ventured into. I think Barbie has done it all, guys. She has done it all. But I'm really excited about getting it. And I'm going to remove it from the box. But I'm definitely not going to try to take all of it out on camera. But I do want you guys to see how it looks outside of the box and it is a really nice coffee shop I do want to save the backdrop but I know when I remove all of the things from the background it's gonna peel off some of the um, paint 
So I'm going to have to try to figure that out. I've done things like that in the past. I really like the backdrop. I wish that it was a way that they could do this where you could save the backdrop. But, you know, I guess that's a little bit too much work. You know, you get your instructions and tells you all the content that comes with this item. And again, I am very, very excited about getting it unboxed. I was kind of going to wait until I was ready to actually get all my pieces and set up the coffee shop. But I said, no, I need to go in and do the review because some of you guys might be um, riding the fence about it and you want to know um, if it's worth the money like I was. So I purchased it and I'm unboxing it now. And I'll just put my little stuff up in a container until I'm ready to actually get ready to set up my coffee shop in my doll universe but as you can see this is all of the stuff that it comes with and the doll is very beautiful I mean Barbie is a beautiful doll you know and a lot of people complain about always getting so many Barbies but this is a Barbie item so you're gonna get Barbie now you can always change the outfit out and put another doll in the outfit if that's what you choose to do. But I really like her, so we're gonna we're gonna let her stay the coffee shop owner for now. I like how they got her little hair up in a bun, and she is a curvy girl. You know, she is not the regular tall, slender, regular sized Barbie. You know, she comes in a different body type, and I think that's pretty awesome. So I'm going to to box this remove it from the packaging and then we'll look at every little piece up close and in detail all right everything is out of the box and i'm going to show you the individual pieces as we place them in the coffee shop um, i'm having my coffee this morning in my favorite coffee cup my brother works for the thomas built buses company and i'm also a bus driver of over 30 years so you know what better gift could he give his sister um i drive a school bus i drink coffee and i love pink so you know it's my favorite and it keeps my coffee um pretty warm not hot but past warm i like to sip my coffee if the coffee has to be the temperature where i sip it once i can't sip it anymore i don't really like it but i'm having coffee this morning as well so whenever you see this cup here in my shots i'm having coffee sometimes i have tea but mostly it's coffee you know i have one to two cups in the morning so this coffee shop was an absolute must for my dolly universe for sure so let's check out all the goodies that the item that the um coffee shop comes with so we have the beautiful doll here so let's start with her the coffee shop owner and she is of course the traditional barbie you know the um, big beautiful blue eyes with the beautiful smile and they've got her hair up in a little do I really like whenever we can get Barbie with this do. I like the bun on top of the head do. I really do. I really like it. I love it on the doll. I wear my hair like this sometimes. So, you know, it's kind of one of my favorite go-to styles. Um, the style has got it curled under, but it's not long hair, as you can see. This is the length of the hair, just in case. You know, I know a lot of people like to know all the details. So her hair is pretty short up under there. It just curls under. And of course, like I said, she's on the curvy body type. Now her um, uniform is all one piece. Everything is printed on. You know, I was kind of hoping it wasn't, but I kind of, you know, once I saw it in the store, I kind of felt like it was. But it's really cute. It does off. You know, in photos and things, it's going to look like a real um, two-piece outfit. So you've got the symbol of the coffee shop, Barbie symbol of the coffee shop on there printed on. you got the printed on pockets on the apron. Everything's printed on. And then you can see it stops before the hem of the dress to give you that look of appearance of two looks. And then here's how it looks in the back. You've got a Velcro um, open closure in the back. And that's how it looks in the back. Okay, she has the basic five points of articulation. She has the one bent arm, I guess, so she can, you know, give out the drinks as she makes them. And then she's wearing a pair of a black plain shoes. Wouldn't per se say sneakers, though they are that design. I'm going to call them Oxford switch strings. But with these shoes, as you guys can see, she is able to stand on her own. So I really, really like that. 
So let's look at all of the goodies that these that this coffee shop comes with. Okay, so it comes with a bottle of water. And each item has the little um, hook on the side for the dolls to be able to hold it in their hands. So according to my um, picture here, the bottle of waters go here. So as I show them to you, I'm going to put them where they go. Then we have a blue a bottle of water here. Okay, and this is like the refrigerator, okay? And then up next, we have these little cups. And I'm thinking that these might be yogurts. I'm assuming they're little yogurts. The top does not come off. And as you can see, these items have the little design on them where you're able to stick them in the holes. You know, I have, I've noticed that on a lot of my Barbie furniture that I've purchased, that they have these. So you can mix and match these things out, swap them out and use them in different um, scenes and settings. But I'm thinking that this is going to be yogurt. And it also goes here. And then we also have a pink one as well. And they have, they go here on the, in, on the fridge. Okay. And then up next, we have another little cool item. I'm assuming that these are cake pops. And it's really cute and very realistic, as you can see. And then, of course, it has a little hook on the side. Then it also has a holder under there as well, so that if you want to put it, I guess, somewhere on the register, you could. But on the picture, it has all of those things displayed here inside the... Um, the storage bin that you put your cakes and things but I'm gonna just stick it right there for now then we also have a little cupcake on a saucer and um, it's really cute um, it's stuck to it so it's all one piece so you don't have to worry about losing it and it also has that kind of hook design under there and I'm gonna just put it there for excuse me for the sake of this video then we also have a nice little plate of cookies whatever kind I guess you want them to be I wouldn't say chocolate chip because I don't see any chocolate chips but they are cookies all right so I'm running out of little slots to put them maybe I'll put it right there for now and put the plate of cookies put my cookies right there all right okay and then we have a bottle of syrup and it, these items if they do have anything on them I don't know if you guys can see it but it has the little Barbie logo stamped on the front there as well a bottle of chocolate syrup and I'm gonna put that back there because she's gonna need that when she's preparing the drinks then we also have a gallon of milk and it's a realistic looking gallon of milk I like that that's really cool and I'm gonna just put that there Though it seems like it doesn't fit there. I guess I would want it. No. The milk goes here. And I've got it upside down. The milk fits there. So you don't have to worry about it falling out. And then the chocolate syrup. Fits in a little slot there. But it doesn't fit there. So it can fall out. But I guess you could move it around if you want. All right, and then up next, we have the little cash register so that you can see how much your drinks and things are ringing up. And that's really cute. I really like that. So I'm going to have to move the cupcake, of course, move it around because the cash register, according to the picture, goes here. All right. And then next, we have a little cup with the Barbie logo on it. And as you can see, it's a, it's a functioning little cup. So I'm probably going to have to move these things because I want to put these items here. All right, I'll leave the cookies there. All right. And then we also have this little, I guess, energy bar. I cannot tell what is on there. Oh, my goodness. It's so tiny. But it is very, very realistic. It has the little hook there for the doll to hold it in their hand. But it looks like a snack bar, energy bar. I guess it's whatever you want it to be. This is your coffee shop. All right, and then we have these adorable little cups that look like a real coffee cups. And let's see. Oh, and the lid comes off. So the lid comes off this cup. Looks like a life-size cup, real functioning cup. All right.
and then the lid pops back on and I'm gonna let her hold this for a little bit so we can see how she looks holding the items okay so there she is holding the cup all right so we have three more items that are the same thing though all right so then you have the individual drinks now I did pop the little um drink inside the cup for storage but this is what the little drinks looks like and you get them in different colors you get a green one you get a brown one that I'm assuming is chocolate I'm not sure what flavor the green would be and then you have the pink one which could be strawberry cherry I guess whatever you know your your preference is and then guys you're supposed to be able to open this. There we go. And you pop the little drinks in there. All right. They go into a little slot in there. Because this is supposed to be a functioning machine. All right. Where's the other one? All right. So I need to be able to turn this thing around. All right. All right. Wrong handle. All right, because I need to put the other drink in there. I don't want to make it work yet. All right, so you put your little drinks in there, close it up, and then you're supposed to place the cup in the little slot there. Okay, and then you're supposed to be able to pull this little lever on the side here. I'm trying not to block it. And do you see how the drink falls down into the cup? That's really cute. So your little drink falls down there in your cup. And each cup comes with its own little lid with the straw on it. And it clips on there. And guys, it is so adorable. I think that is so cute. That is so cute. All right, I'm going to put the drink right there that I have fixed. Okay. So then you've got this little slot over here where you can store well no on the picture they have the little lids here on the top so the little lids go there on the top okay all right Barbie don't fall over I really like this little coffee shop and you know I you can you're supposed to store your little desserts here and treats inside this little storage thing but I like the paper ones so I'm probably gonna leave these um, try to store them somewhere on the actual coffee machine maybe because I kind of like having this these on display because you know it gives you more um, variety and more choice there but as you guys can see, you've got all these um, pictures of actual items here in the refrigerator. We have salads. Let me pick this up. We have salads in there, fruit cups. Then you've got other items on the bottom here. You can buy packs of individual coffees. And then you actually have coffee, little coffee machines. Then here on the front of the um, register, you've got the counter, rather. You've got other little snacks, like the actual snack bar you get. You've got more cups you can buy. And other little things like nuts or something, I guess. And this is cardboard, and this can be removed. So if you are a real skill artist, you can take... Take this stuff out and paint and make your own realistic stuff but I'm fine with the actual Barbie stuff I'm the type of Barbie collector that you know I like that it has the Barbie look and the Barbie logo you know if I want to set up a more realistic one you know I would want to start from scratch and then here on the top you've got your little menu and all of that and it's really really cute you got your Barbie sign and I, I really like this little machine and let me turn it around so that you can see how it looks from the other side so this is what it looks like from the other side so if you had stuff you wanted to store in here you could actually store other items but these are the actual little cardboard pieces that you can actually pull out if that's what you want to do but I'll pull them out just so I can show you guys how it looks with the desserts inside so, oh Barbie you did stand on your own Suge I'm knocking you over not enough space okay so then you can just slide your little desserts in there 
for those of you that are wondering how it's going to look to put the actual, and then you got the cookies too. So let me put the cookies in there. All right, so this is how it looks with the actual little desserts in there that come with it. But again, like I said, I'm going to use the paper cutouts because I like those. But then I wanted to show you guys real quickly before I go how I preserved my actual coffee shop scene. Because you know when you take, um, when you remove all the items, when you remove the plastic, all of the, um, as you remember from the video, this whole thing was a big plastic bulb that had all of the little accessories that come with it. So if you gently pull it off and rip off as least amount of paper as you possibly can, you can reserve, preserve this and you can trim it around the plastic and you can still have the actual pieces still in place. And then you just take your glue and you just glue where it left the spot on the actual paper and you just glue it back on into the spot and you don't see it now it's it's not that noticeable here on camera now i can see it a little bit myself because i know where it is but you know hey it's a good way to save this backdrop because this backdrop is really really awesome you know again some of you are artists you can you can repaint your own more realistic one but you know i am not that skilled in that you know this one trust me is going to be my better option so that's the option that i prefer i found that little trick before you know it was something that just came to me on other little things packaging that i wanted to save but when you take the the pieces off you sometimes ruin um, the actual backdrop so you know I found a little tip that helps me preserve it so that I can use it some more in pictures and in my scenes I mean this is what makes the actual coffee shop look so realistic is that actual backdrop you know I really like that and you know in a picture that is really gonna be awesome in pictures you know it is going to be awesome and that's what I like. So there is a close-up of my coffee shop. This is the main event. And then, you know, I've got other little things that I've got. Little pieces, little tables. And, you know, once I get it done, I'm definitely going to take pictures of it and share it on my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you definitely will see how my future coffee shop is going to turn out. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this opening and review of the Barbie you can be anything series coffee shop my dolls are so excited about this coffee shop they can't wait for her to get set up and open for business so they can start ordering coffee drinks and having treats and snacks and whatever they decide to do hang out check their emails you know do whatever you know they decide to do i'm just so excited about my new piece to my doll collection and i hope you guys enjoy it guys again thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to like comment share and subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram i am ruby red's world of dolls there continue being awesome fantastic and fabulous and i will see you awesome amazing people in my next review Extra, extra, extra.